Hi my dear fitness friends and welcome to our 2020 superhuman workout number 5. The reason that this is number 5 is that if you go back and do a search you will find 4 other superhuman workouts on this channel. So this superhuman workout will follow a very similar format. Um, we will be using lots of pieces of different equipment. I will be using my 24 inch plyo box, my kettlebells, both my 60 and my 40, my dumbbells, and my barbell. You can use dumbbells for every move. You can use dumbbells for a kettlebell. You can use dumbbells for a barbell. I will also be using my BOSU, which of course you can either use light, light dumbbells or just use nothing. Use your hands right on the ground. Okay, plyo box. If you have a sturdy chair, go ahead and use it. If you don't, substitute any other plyometric move instead of jumping up onto a plyo box, meaning a squat jump, a star jump, a tuck jump, <laughs> okay? Any of those will work. Um, I have a very short Tabata pair warm up. It is body weight if you need more than 20 seconds on 10 seconds rest for four minutes to feel warmed up and ready to pick up some heavy weights. Go ahead and push pause and get that done and then join me on the mat for that warm up in just a minute. All right guys, we're starting off this Tabata pair warm up. I'm gonna start right away. You have got a 10 second countdown. To start off, we're going to be in a high plank position. We're going to commando down to our elbows, go into a T-stand, and get a dip. And then we're commandoing back up before we go on to the other side. So T-stand, dip, put that elbow back down, and get back up. Now go down with the other arm. T-stand on the other side, dip, elbow back down, commando up. Really use these warm-ups, these four minutes to get yourself in the right frame of mind. We're doing three switch lunges to a hamstring stretch here. So, one, two, three. Put your hands down on the ground, straighten that front leg as much as you can. <laughs> Other side. One, two, three. And if you don't like to jump in the very beginning of your workout, go ahead and do stepping, step reverse lunges. So you could just go one, two, three, so on. Back to your commandos. High plank to start. Commando down, down. T-stand, dip. Come on, back up. Start to breathe. Start to appreciate the fact that you gave yourself this time to do a workout today. Appreciate the fact that you made a healthy choice, a good decision for yourself. Three switch lunges, hamstring stretch. One, two, three. That feels so good, my hamstrings, guys. Oh, I always have tight hamstrings. Nice work. Halfway through your warm-up already. Use your 10 seconds wisely. If you want to take a moment to walk it out to your high plank, go ahead and do it. Commando down, T-stand, dip. When you do that dip, make sure you're engaging your core. All of your movements today are going to be muscle movements. Focusing on strength. I'm getting bigger, getting stronger, taking up space. Switch lunges. One, two, three. Being in control of your body and your mind during this entire hour. Leaving any stress and negativity at the door. Putting that behind you because when you're finished, and if you want to pick it back up, you will do so with much more clarity. I can pretty much guarantee that. Into a T-stand and a dip. Nice job. Last 20 seconds of our warm-up. 
three switch lunges, hamstring stretch. One, two, three. One, two, three. Really, really take what you need here. If you need more time to warm up, you have a pause button. Push pause, get that warm up done, and then come back and start this workout. That goes for any time during this workout. If you need more of a breather, you need more of a rest, you need a drink, you push pause, you take it. If you're working at home and you get interrupted with something that needs your attention, you push pause, you put a smile on your face, and you take care of that interruption, whatever it may be, and then you come back and get your workout, okay? It's as simple as that. All right, superhuman set, round one. In between every 50 second interval of our hit set, which our hit set is going to be using the BOSU, we are going to do five swings, four deadlifts, three high pulls, and two hang planes, okay? So I'm going to be using my 60 pound kettlebell for that. And we're gonna start off right away into our BOSU hit. 50 seconds on, pushing pause, and in our 10 seconds where we normally are resting, instead of doing 10 seconds rest, we're pushing pause and doing that superhuman set. Okay, so starting off with a rollback BOSU burpee. This Hit set is six minutes long. So I'm going to hit start right now and we're gonna get started. Roll back Bosu burpees in 10 seconds. Make sure your kettlebell is readily available but not in your way, okay? If you don't have a Bosu, you're just doing a roll back burpee. Let's go. Roll it back. Come all the way through. Push up. Jump up.
two, three, four, three high pulls, one, two, three, two hang cleans, one, two, set it down, left leg, curtsy lunge, hop onto your BOSU, just the other side, 50 second interval, here we go, curtsy lunge, hop, curtsy lunge, hop, Two days 
and I can feel this. And I will admit to you, core is one of my least favorite muscles to be sore in because it makes me feel like I have a bellyache. <laughs> Sometimes like throughout the day, like you don't realize it and you're like, oh, my belly hurts. But really, it's your core muscles. So when I feel like that, I say in my head that it is my core getting stronger. It is because I worked it hard. And then I let that mind power take over and it's fixed, right? Let your mind power take over. Make sure it's a good, positive mind power. Flip the switch on yourself. Five swings, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Hop it up, four deadlifts. One, two, three, four. High pulls for three. One, two, three, two hang cleans. One, two, set it down. Last BOSU move in our first superhuman set is incline chest flies. So I'm gonna go at 12s. And I'm hitting start, you've got seven seconds. So if you're not on the BOSU, you're right on the floor. You don't have to be on the incline, but you do need to do those flies. Here we go. Squeeze that chest. Focus, strength, control. Control the negative. Don't let gravity take away your work. You're working against gravity. There's not a whole lot of times in your life where you get to control the negative. This is one of them. Control it. For 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. This is your final round of your first superhuman set. So you've got five swings. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Hop it up, four deadlifts. One, two, three, four. Three high pulls. One, two, three, two hang cleans. One, Two, nice work, set it down. Okay, we are flipping the switch on ourselves here. We finished our first superhuman set. We're dog hit and our superhumans. Now we're doing a barbell challenge complex. We're gonna go through this four times. In between each complex, we will be doing 60 seconds of a challenge move, okay? So similar to the superhuman set, but not. <laughs> Five deadlifts, four bent rows, three hand cleans, two power cleans, one clean and press. That's your barbell complex, okay? Let's get it started. Five deadlifts. One, two, three, four, Five, hold on to that weight, four bent rows. One, two, three, four. Hold on to that weight, three hand cleans. One, two, three. Two power cleans all the way down to the deadlift. Power it up. One, two. One clean and press. Bring it down. First 60 second challenge move is going to be a plank hop, 
box jump. If you're not using a box, you do a plank hop slide jump, you do a plank hop roll back, you do a plank hop squat jump, whatever it is that you want to do to challenge yourself is what I want you to do. You've got 10 seconds. We're here for 60. No push up, just a plank hop. I stand up at the top of my box jump and hop down. I'm sorry, I'm gonna step down instead of hopping down. <laughs> Stay with it. Nice job. 20 seconds. Well done. All right, round two, barbell complex. Just gonna scroll up here so I can see our next. There we go. <laughs> okay, this entire 60 second challenge move group, we will be using our plyo box. So just get that in your head. Five deadlifts. One, two. Three, four, five, four bent rows. One, two, three, four. Stand it up, three hand cleans. One, two, three, two power cleans. One, Two, one clean and press. All right, next move, incline push up. Plank hop your feet up. If you don't like to hop your feet up, do a push up on the floor, then hop your feet up. Push up, plank hop. You got five seconds till we start. Here we go. Incline push up. Pop your feet up. In inner gymnastic -y vibes coming out here, guys. <laughs> this reminds me of balance beam and bar routines in gymnastics. So everyone, go ahead and grab a little bit of that Simone Biles mind frame and give it a try. It's really fun. But also, as in a gymnast mind, you must first visualize yourself doing it. Don't picture yourself failing, because that's when failure happens, and plyo box injuries happen. We don't want any of that. It's not worth it. You're here to work out, feel good, have fun. Challenge yourself not to get a bad shin scrape. Okay, we've all been there. It's not fun. All right, third round. Complex, starting with the five deadlifts, going to the four bent rows. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, four bent rows. One, two, three, four. Three hand cleans, stand it up first. One, two, three, two power cleans. One, two, one clean and pass. Next, 60 minute move is a decline 
push up. Plank, hop your feet down, walk it out to plank, get a push up, walk it back, plank, hop your feet up. So it's sort of like a, an inchworm, but with a decline involved. So feet are up, hands are down, full push up, hop your feet down, walk it out, push up, walk it back. Make sure your feet are within hopping distance, hop it back up. down, walk it out, push up, walk it back, you guys are doing awesome, whenever you're using a plyo box, there is a lot of athletic mind and body connection going on, you need to be able to judge your distance, judge your Ability to hop up and get down. Object rotation is huge. The object being your body and the plyo box. Well done. Okay. Final round in this complex before we hit our second superhuman set. Take a deep breath. You've got five deadlifts. One, two, three, four, five, four bent rows. One, two, three, four, three hang cleans. One, two, three. Two power cleans. One. Two. One clean and press. And down. Oh, awesome, awesome job. Okay, final 60 second plyo box challenge move is a roll back, roll back, burpee box jump. So roll back to a push up, right into a box jump. Yes, you can. Let's do it. Judge your distance. Make adjustments as you need to. It's a complicated move. Focus on each part of it. Roll back all the way through. Full push up. Plank hop up. Now box jump. And repeat. There's no way that you can be thinking of anything else than completing this move successfully right now. This is you. This is your body. This is you getting stronger, more capable, more efficient, more effective. Doing something totally crazy, right? do this anywhere else in your life. <laughs> You're not going to do roll back box jumps anywhere else during the day. So do it right now <laughs> and enjoy it. Okay. We're moving on. We've got our next superhuman set. We've got five swings to squat swings, four alternating reverse lunge weight pass off. So you'll count on one leg only and three squat and presses. That's our superhuman set. I'll be using my 40 pound kettlebell. So I'm gonna get that out and get it ready. Our hit set is a dumbbell hit set. So we're using dumbbells throughout this entire 50 second, 10 second off hit set. Starting with a burpee power clean. So I'm gonna go with 25s for that. Get them out, get them ready. You will have time, we're going to be using different weights throughout this hit set, you will have time to switch your weights, okay? I will tell you what's coming. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We have a six minute hit set again with those superhuman movies in between. You've got 10 second countdown started. So push up, power clean your weights up, squeezing your glutes. 
and using momentum and power. Full push up. Pop it up. Clean up. Down. One of the reasons why I love these superhuman sets so much is that there's so much variety that you will not get bored, but there's enough repetition in the movements to really make you feel worked.
Nice work. Your heart rate should come down a little bit here. Two and one, set it down. All right, you superhumans. Five swing to squat swings, let's get them. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse lunges and passing it off. Starting again on my right. One, two, three, four. Front and center, squat and press. One, two, three. Set it down. Six seconds. So you start your right arm windmill, sticking with a 20, or left, whichever way you want to start. It doesn't matter to me. Keep your form tight, shoulder is locked in. Your hand is not waving. One, one, 
two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Reverse lunge it. Pick it up strong. Pass it off strong. One, two, three, four, and three squat and presses. I almost gave you five of those reverse lunges. How many of you caught that? One, two, three. Set it down. All right, we have push-ups and plank rows. So I'm gonna go to fives. All you're doing is push-up, alternating plank row. Five seconds, this is your last 50 second interval. Here we go, hop it back. Push-up, row, row.
60 second challenge move. As I pull over, knee tuck to a Russian twist. I'm gonna go with one 12 pound dumbbell for that. You've got 10 seconds till we start. On your back, on the mat. So, pull over, bring your knees in, twist, twist, back out. Keep your feet up for an added bonus the whole time. So even when you lay your back out for that pull over, keep those heels two inches off the mat. Press that lower back into the mat when you lay down. And don't forget to breathe. And reaffirm yourself that you can do this. This is the last set in this workout. You absolutely can get this done. I have faith in you. I believe in your hustle. I believe in your sweat. I believe in your determination and your commitments to yourself that you deserve this. Four, three, two, and one. Get on up. Use that weight to help me get up. <laughs> I need it. Okay. Five power planes. Four push presses. Three back squats, two pendulums. All right, team, let's get this done. Five powers. One.
two, three. Let's get it. One. Two, other leg. One. Two, unload. All right, 60 seconds. T-span, either from your elbow or your hand, whichever you want. Dip, leg lift, reach under. You're staying on the same side for 60 seconds. So if you want to go from your hand for 30 and then down to your elbow for 30, I'll tell you when to drop. It's completely up to you. That's what I'm going to do. So, T-stand. Dip, leg lift, reach under. T stand, dip. Hi, Robin. <laughs> leg lift, reach Hi, under. Hi, sweetheart. Ooh, balance. What you need? us, but you got this. Less than 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake out that wrist. That was a lot to hold for 60 seconds. You have your final barbell complex. Thanks for stuck in the closet. Oh no, mommy's almost done, okay? One more set. Oh, dinosaurs are on the fritz. <laughs> dinosaurs are on the fritz. Um, that's from if you give a mouse a cookie. Please, private message me if you know what dinosaurs are on the fritz. It's all about. Okay, <laughs> we've got five power queens. Let's finish this off, final round. One. Two. Five, four push press. One, two, three, four, three squats. One, two, three. Pendulums, here we go. One, Other side. One. Two. Unload it. Oh my goodness. Set that barbell out of your way. You have the other side for 60 seconds of T stand, dips, leg lifts and reaches. So let's go. Get into your T-stand. Get a dip. Get a leg lift. And then reach under. Make sure that hand is directly under that shoulder. Or your elbow is directly under your shoulder. If you're shaking, great. You've been doing this workout right. The sweat is just pouring off of you. Amazing. You came here. You accomplished. You defeated this workout. And actually, you did a whole lot more than that. You changed your imprint on today. You changed who you are today. You get a choice every day. 
Let's make those choices count. Three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, come off of that wrist, roll it out. If you want to stay with me, I'm gonna do my favorite, favorite four minute vinyasa, flow and hold, cool down. Take your gloves off. Oops. <laughs> Take your shoes and socks off if you're at home on your own personal mat. If you are not, at least keep your socks on, please. We are investing in our health. We are investing in ourselves. I can't think of a better investment to make today. Take a deep breath. We got 20 second intervals of flows. At the beat, you have 10 second holds. So 20 seconds of flowing here, forward fold, flatten your back, inhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, open up your chest, exhale, down dog, stretch out your calves, inhale, hop your feet forward, hold your chair pose for 10 seconds, four, three, two, one, find your seat, get into a boat for a few seconds, and then come right back up. Inhale to stand. Little back bend, stretch out that core. It's just worked a lot. Forward fold, inhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Hold your up dog. Just breathe. Just think about everything you've accomplished. You just did that. You just did that. You just did a crazy superhuman workout. Right leg comes up. Step it all the way forward into a runner's lunge. Bring your arms straight up into a high lunge. Open up into warrior. Reverse it. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Single leg tricep hold for 10 seconds. Because you've got more in the tank. You always have more to give. Do not ever doubt that you have more to give. You do. You just have to find it. You did right there. Back into down dog. Left leg comes up. Bring it through. You want to pee by yourself again. You're such a big boy. Save a leg, tricep hold. Let's go. Yes, I'm so proud of you. You want to pee more. Good job. <laughs> and to up dog. There, you just did 20 seconds of single leg tricep holds. You didn't even know you could, but you did. Hop to chair. Bring your arms up. Find your seat. Go into boat. Come back up to chair. And up to stand. Little back bend up here. Hold it. And forward fold, flat back, chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog, right leg comes up, bring it through, open up into warrior, find a half moon, hold it, if you can glance up at your hand, if not just try to flatten your back foot. Bring that foot down gracefully back into warrior. Hands come to the mat. Single leg chaturanga down and up. Back to down. Left leg comes up. Bring it through. Runner's lunge. Come all the way up. Open up. Find your half moon. Get ready to hold. Again, flatten your back foot. Gaze up at your upper hand if you can. Open up your hips a little bit. Bring it back down gracefully. <laughs> back down, single leg chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. Hold your down dog. This is your final 10 seconds coming up. So just hold that down dog for me. Hopefully your hamstrings are looser they were, than they were when you started. Drop to your knees. Bring your hands out in front of you into a child's pose. Roll your head back and forth on your mat. 
Massage out your forehead. Take a moment of gratitude here. Be grateful that your body can do the things that it can do. Be grateful that you have this space, that you have this time, that we have YouTube, that we have the internet. Be grateful for everything around you. When you find yourself getting down on yourself, find yourself nitpicking at what you did or didn't do, flip the switch. That's my challenge for you today. I love you all so much. You are all superhumans to me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I will see you at the next one.